Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, I'm going to tie one of these. The flash tail whisker type thing. Very light. Small fly. Loads of movement. Loads of flash. My last video I tied one of these. This was whole orange. And white, silver. Tonight, I'm going to tie one of these cast whisker colours. I absolutely love this fly. Just so light. When it hits the bottom, it just pulses. So, they slim right down in the water. So, let me catch my fish. I do get inspiration from with this from Dougie Lockridge. Um, and this is just the way I've been tying them. So tonight, the hook I'm using, ARX, these are two O's. They're sharp. They stay sharp. They're a light wire hook. But they're very strong. I never I haven't used them for very long, but I'm falling in love with them very quickly. The thread I'm using tonight is 100 GSP in white. I always start off a bit of zap I got on the hook shank. So I just like to put a nice base down for these. So best of we're going to then catch a thread on. And work your way down your body. So because the super glue is because 100 GSP is very slidey on the jank, so it just gets it helps a grip. A good base for your fly. So the, the weight I'm using on these, I don't often use weight with flies. I don't like the jigging motion too much. I fish in a lot of deeper water and I like to set my depth from fly line. But for these, because I'm fishing small waters, I'm, I'm using a floating line or a slow, clear intermediate and I can control the depth a bit better. So the eyes I'm using are 4mm lead eyes. I just catch them on at 45 degrees with a few wraps. And I'm going to bring my thread around the other way and square them up. So I'm doing a figure 8. I should find the eyes that are here. These are from Wopsy. I bought these at uh, Angus Anglin and Forfa. So, just a few wraps one way, a few wraps the other way, crisscrossing. Square your eyes up, and then I'm going to put a f three wraps round horizontal between the eye and the hook shank and pull them tight. Exactly the same again, three wraps, pull it tight. I'm tightening something now in the vise, just moving about a bit. Then I get my zapper gap. A bit in the top, a bit underneath, and then I just continue with the process again. So, a dozen or so wraps one way. Doesn't show wraps the other way. Then a three wraps horizontal. Pull tight and that's it. They'll never move from there. So bring your thread down to between the point and the bar. So still moving about in the vise. There we go, must need new jaws. So I've got my, th my thread back here. What I'm going to use for the tail here. I'm going to use a famous scissors. White bucktail. It's a brilliant bucktail. I got this from um Cook Cell Fly Time. It's gonna take not too much, but a healthy, a healthy amount. Get rid of all the loose bits. Trim the end square and tie in it on top of the hook. Four loose wraps. Give it about half tension, then just push it down and it goes round the hook. Then tidy everything up. And tidy up as you go, it's easier to keep control of it. So, <coughs> the flash we're using today is a fine silver flash boot. I'm going to take about, it's hard to tell, 30 strands maybe. 40 strands, 30 I would think, and then 
I'll taper the ends. Taper everything your fingers, it's easier to do than once it's tied on. So just both ends, just make sure everything's lying straight. And when I catch this in, this dictates the length of my fly. So I want about a six inch fly. So catch it in right on top of the hoop with three or four loose wraps. And all that is is the weight of the bobbin holder holding it in place. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spread it about my nail so it gets to about 180 degrees. And then we're going to pull tight. I'm going to take up, take the rest of these and I'm going to split them. I'm just going to pull them down the sides, pushing them underneath. And I'm going to catch everything down. Just give it a quick comb just to make sure nothing's caught. And that's to be a good spread around the hook. Not happy with any bits, if there's any bits doubled over, just run your scissors through. Make sure you're happy with it. If you're not happy with your fly tying, change it. Change it before you move on to the next step. Because if you've got two flies in your box, and one's ha you're happy with and one you're not, you'll never fish for the one you're not happy with. So now, some more bucktail. Just a wee bit more than you put in the first time. Same process again, get rid of all your loose bits, all your short bits. Turn them in square. This time I'm going to reverse tie them. So top hands and place it double the hook. Three loose wraps. Push it down. And squeeze it in the sides. And that'll go right round. And then pull it tight and just do a few to lock it in. Turn your waist off. You can leave this on if you want, but I just like to take it off. Saves excess weight. Just work your way around. So, there we go. And then fold all these back. Bring your thread forward and then catch everything. Oh. Don't, you're not going to tie over the bucktail this time. You're just going to tie up to it. So once you manage to get all these back, massage it down them. So it's, there's a kink in it. And then build up your thread in front of the bucktail, just pushing it back. Don't tie over it. Just push it back to the desired angle you require. This angle is going to be about 30 degrees. I think I've moved out. Just keeping a bit more. Because you're building a taper, if you find your thread slipping, a little trick. Put a dab of super glue on your thread. And then continue wrapping. Just continue wrapping up and down. Just building it up to get your desired angle. That's the angle I want. So I'm going to bring my thread just in front of that. I'm going to tie some more flash in. So the same amount of flash again. 30 strands or so. Cut it off, taper your ends. Taper both ends. And we'll tie it in 50-50. 50% of it on the top. Facing backwards. Three or four of those wraps again. Spread it with your nail. And then this one, just fold it back underneath. Just make sure you've spread it underneath, right around, 
and then tidy everything up. There we go, it's a good spread round. That's giving you loads of volume, but no bulk. So I'm going to repeat this process again. So more white bugtail. I'm going to reverse tie it again. So take it off your tape, your skin. Get rid of the loose bits. Trim your end square. Reverse tie. So trick again. Put it on top of the shank. Four loose wraps, four or five. Push it down with your nail. Squeeze the sides and that will spin right around. Then pull tight. A few locking wraps. I'm not going to bother turning my waist off this time. Pull everything back. Bring your thread forward. And then build a taper up again in front of the Bucktail to push it back to whatever angle you want. This time I'm going to go with 45 degrees. There we go. Just make sure it's all sitting nice and you're happy with it. Heat this bit here, it catches in the jaws of the vise. So now Red and white's a classic colour, but chartreuse and white is another one. A lot of guys say, especially in Canada, chartreuse is, if it's not chartreuse, it's no use. So, what I'm using for this is Marabou. It's a Castle Feathers Marabou. It's an eBay shop, best in the market. It comes, it's a lot, it's very long and it's supple. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take the point of it, I'm going to stroke some fibres back. Wet it, and just cut the end off, that's your tie-in point. Catch it in and bring it right back to touching the buck deal. Then bring your thread forward. So I'm just going to parmer this, touch and turns forward, so I'm going to stroke the fibres back. Marabou is quite loads of movement and bulky, but when you tie it like this and it's it blends in really well, it just makes a beautiful head. When you stop pulling it just pop, it just gives it a great pause movement. It's just a crack of material. Especially with good quality, long stuff like this. It makes it a lot easier and a lot better. So just keep on teasing it out as you go. So you're not trapping any down. I'm going to try and use, I'll probably use half this feather. Just so the, the stock, I'm not going to go into the thick part of the stock. Probably got one more wrap in there. So, when you go to that stage, work your thread through. Just bring your thread round through. A couple of turns. Probably three, I'll walk it in. And then pull it back, the stock back, and just tie over it. Just pull it tight. And that's you locked in. Trim your feather off. And just, I'll use a dog comb. Just tease it all out. And then give it throw a whip finish in. Because I'm um, not putting eyes or anything on here, to finish this fly off, I'm just going to use a bit of super glue or varnish if you've, if you've got a tie and varnish. So I'm just going to super glue the thread. Top and bottom. And that is it. And that is a fly done. These are quick and they're simple. They catch fish. 
there's loads of movement. They're very lightweight. They look messy just now. I'm going to move this vice out of the way. They look messy, but in the water when they slim down, they're just awesome flies. They'll catch a fish. You can tell you in a million different colours. Different flashes, different bucktails, different marabous. You can even use, instead of marabou, you can use laser dub in the front. So that there is two patterns I use quite a lot. Also use a black with silver flash or black with red flash and red marabou. Works well. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like the videos, share them. See you next time. Thank you.